every three years we change the rules for a class. And the idea is that every year one of the classes is changing. So this year's was micro class. Last year the rules were a aircraft that had to fit in a tube and carry a steel payload which was very dense. And we decided this year to go in a different direction where we would prescribe the size of the container to fit in and dictate a very low density payload, in this case PVC pipe. And this forced a trade-off between how much payload you can carry and how much airplane it took to carry it because you had a finite space to pack both in to this one box. And on top of that, we increased the importance this year of the assembly bonus. So you could have a many, many part aircraft that's very complicated, but you're gonna take a penalty on taking all of it and the payload out of a box and assembling it together. And so you've got these kind of three competing requirements of maximum payload, payload fraction, because you still, as an aircraft, want to be as light as possible, and assembly time. All micro class is hand launched, so you're still standing out on the flight line throwing the aircraft. You don't need the landing gear, it's a little simpler design problem. Whether it's Lockheed Martin or Boeing or any of the other groups that are trying to design an aircraft for government uh, or any other contractor or customer, you're going to have a packaging requirement. This is representative of, I have to fit my vehicle and payload in a certain fixed size. We modeled it off of a shipping box. The idea is maybe this is a vehicle that you get in the mail, and you open it out of the box with the payload, you put it together and you can go fly it immediately. So very fast turnaround time, very fast production, but a fixed customer dictated size based on requirements for them. It tends to have the most variation of all the airplanes because the constraints are just set up in such a way that you can solve it in many different ways. Regular class, big airplanes, a lot of payload, pushing the limit of what's actually feasible with these aircraft. So everyone's uh, exciting in their own unique way and that allows teams that want to participate to pick the one that like fits their personality the best when they participate.